The rise in COVID cases is very evident here at Jupiter Medical Center. They did have to just reopen their COVID unit after it was shut down three weeks ago. The number of people who had to be hospitalized at Jupiter Medical Center has increased in the last two weeks from fewer than five a day to more than 30. Most of the patients are by far are unvaccinated. So in essence, this is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Dr. Charles Murphy says in addition to being unvaccinated, the COVID patients being hospitalized now are mostly in their 20s to 50s. And while they have had to reopen the COVID unit to care for so many, most of the cases are not as severe as those they saw last year. We're seeing fewer patients requiring an intensive care level of care. Uh, so a lot of the patients can be managed in what, what's called a step down unit or a or on a regular floor. While the cases are not as severe, doctors are worried about the prevalence of long term symptoms, many of which are still unknown. The Delta variant surging through the U.S. is highly transmissible and aggressively infecting unvaccinated people. While the CDC says Florida has one of the highest new case rates in the nation, it is also one of the top five states in the number of new people getting vaccinated. Doctors say with the surge in cases, many people are changing their minds, even if they were hesitant before. We were seeing the numbers uh, drop substantially, so everybody was ready to dis- declare victory, and now we've had this significant additional surge, so I think psychologically that's a tough situation. Dr. Murphy says while he understands people who are skeptical of the vaccines, he thinks it is riskier not to get it. The increase has been exponential, so uh, we are in a dangerous phase of this. Uh, And I certainly would, again, encourage people to get vaccinated. And Dr. Murphy tells me that the symptoms of this new Delta variant are different than uh, what we've seen before, that instead of getting severely sick, you might just start with a runny nose and a sore throat, and it often does not include the loss of taste and smell. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.